freshness yeah. coming to the start line. Their legs aren't all beaten up. They right. haven't done, you know, these, they don't have a lot of tissue damage, you know. Um, but the other thing is that they have a different concept of training and they realize the importance of the aerobic base. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, most of them have said the first couple of weeks, eh, not too sure, not sure if we like this, don't like, really like being changed around. And then after a few weeks, they've sort of got into it, and now they're true believers. That's right. I think going slower was one of the most difficult things, that those first few weeks where people might be used to running a 10-minute mile in their training group because that's what the group has always done. And then now it's saying, hey, run 10.45 or run 11.05 you know, per mile. And for people to run slower was hard mentally, but better physically. So, but once they made that shift mentally, they were like, oh, this actually, I do feel better. And then they could do that harder work, which is that, you know, uh, anaerobic work and hill work that actually builds them, right? Right. So, you know, what we see happening with the Lydiard program, and this is why it works so well, is that you start to get racing is not the same as training. That's right. You're training to race. And the race is um, exponentially greater than the key race, than the training itself. And I think uh, the way that people have been taught to train in this country is they do a long run and then they just calculate their time for a marathon and they expect their training times and their racing times to be the same. So they're like this instead of going up the pyramid and being able to peak. Yes. Well, you know, it's, it's like just they're, they're in that cycle of, you know, this is the way I should feel when I've worked hard enough and I should feel fatigued and I should feel tired and I should feel sore because I need to improve my time or I, I want to run longer than I've ever done. So it's almost like they're not willing to have their bodies say, oh, I don't feel as bad. It's like, <laughs> I, you know, so, so having that sense of work and, you know, I, I know for myself that, you know, that training slower at, you know, I'm used to the next day after I've trained, you know, in the past to be kind of tired and fatigued. And this year I was like, oh, I feel fine on Monday or Sunday, you know? So right. yeah, it was good. Yeah. So the, um, it's the work hard fallacy that yeah, we, right. uh, you know, so work hard is important. But so is recovery is the other side of it. And we're realizing now that how important recovery is because it's a combination of them both, the marriage partners of recovery and, and hard work that take us to the next level. That's right. And, uh, you know, you work hard, work hard, work hard, and you go to the race depleted. Because you, you know, so Absolutely. we work hard, recover, get the training effect, move on to the next one. So, yeah, I think it's in life too. I think... You know, our culture is all about work hard, move fast, do things, you know, but there's also this culture now we're starting to realize we can work hard but, and, 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 and be active, but we also need stillness in our life, which is the recovery of our mind. So meditation and, and that quiet, you know, that's important to us too. So it's almost like our bodies need that, our minds need that, our spirits need that. So Well said. So, you know, we are, um, by design, regenerative. Yes. And if we go just hard, 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 we get into a degenerative curve, and we're actually declining over time, and then everybody calls it old age. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, or yeah. disease, or you go to the hospital, or right. the orthopedic yeah. doctor. So, uh, you know, we've come through a time of, of just really what I see as a great disrespect to the body. Yeah. And we need to start to learn how to respect it and to work with it. And it's a really amazing design and piece of technology. It's the only thing that is regenerative and adaptive. You know, you couldn't get that in a car, right? That's right. Yeah. Or, or they, they all wear out we eventually, can, we can but the say body can go. We're a little older. If we were 22, <laughs> we'd be going, no, no, we just want to go hard. Yeah, but, right. Yes. Yeah. The wisdom, yeah. the wisdom. I know. And, and to practice what we preach, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to get a lot more people coming yeah. to the program well, we feel next time. To be yeah. Involved. We'll yeah. Foundation and you, Lorraine. 
very much. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, well, we are, we're just so pleased. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Thank you for your faith in us. <laughs> and, sure. and thanks to Arthur for, oh, for touching goodness, you yes. in your early years. Absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. I still remember the first time I saw him. Yeah. Just get goosebumps thinking about that. Yeah. yeah. Very. Okay. Thanks.